Hey guys, Geek Technology sent us a deadbolt, a uh, smart deadbolt to try out and install, try it out. I'm, I installed it already, but before you're like, I, John, I want to see the installation of it. No worries, I'm doing that next. So first I just wanted to show you it's installed. It took me about a half hour to install, so it wasn't very hard. Um, and so here it is. It's a much simpler lock than our other one. You can see the, um, there's less um, footprint. Uh, if I was to keep this lock on here, I would, you know, obviously sand that and, and so. repaint. But this one, unlike our other one, Ooh, just has. It matches our. Uh, yeah, it does match better, doesn't it? It does match better. Yeah. So, but this one has um, just two ways to enter. So you have your fingerprint on here, and you can. Um, there's the way to get in right here. Uh, with a, a lock, okay, just yeah. kind of like the other one. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I haven't set it up yet. Well, I set it up and now I deleted the lock because I wanted to show how you add it on. Um, so some of the features that they have on here, uh, you can unlock with your phone, uh, fingerprint access, history log, you can see uh, who came in with whose fingerprint. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Who came in because of their <laughs> fingerprint? That's what I meant. Um, shared users and data security. All data transfer is encrypted with bank grade TLS encryption. Uh, anyways, an e easy installation. So it was pretty easy. Uh, here we go. So, oh, I just wanted to pull out my phone here. Uh, and here, come closer so you see this. Okay. So you download GeekSmart. I'm on Android. It, it, they also have it for iPhone. Here I have, um, already have one device added, but we're going to add the new lock. And I don't have to go searching for it. It's the RD02, this under hot products. And then we just, just hit the front of this to activate it and then hit next on the on the app here and it'll scan for the devices and then just click on the rd02 then you have to tell you which way is swinging the door swings um, ours is opens to the left um, that tells it which way the motor goes because you can put this on either type of door. Then it says it's locked. And I should just be able to press that and there, and it unlocked it. Had to figure things out. Um, all right, now that's how easy it is to add. I'm just going to add a, myself as a, a fingerprint. So I'm adding a fingerprint and so you press start and then you have to do it six times and you want to get like all, all different, um, all over your fingerprint, all over. And then you tell it which that's my right thumb. Boom. So there we have it. Now I should be able to just go back here. You can add people as well, um, and I should be able to unlock it and lock it with my fingerprint. Okay, well, I just wanted to try it out with my fingerprint. I just locked the door, I think. All right, it worked. Okay, something I didn't realize there is that when, uh, by default, the the lock is not set to auto lock. It, when you go into the settings here, there's a setting called auto lock and you just turn that on and you can then set the delay. And by default is at five seconds. So it would lock five seconds after you lock it. 
Um, I'd probably do that a little bit more, but not a whole lot more because you want it to lock pretty soon. But I'm going to keep it at five for just showing you confirm it. And then I'm just going to exit out. Um, so it's unlocked. And now it uh, automatically locks. So I'm going to do that again, but just close the door. There. And it automatically locks. So, like when I was outside earlier and I pressed it, it didn't lock, and I used my fingerprint to lock it. Uh, I didn't realize. It hadn't already locked, but that's that's how you do it so it automatically locks for you. The other way to unlock it, so you get your fingerprint and then you have, um, I assume you wouldn't do this all the time, but you have a, a regular lock as well. You need to do that. So if the Batteries run out, you obviously can't use the fingerprint mode, but if you were, it says that it'll give you a warning that the batteries are low and you have a hundred times to, to unlock it before you replace it, before it goes dead. So it gives you a warning, a push warning. And if you're, if you have to emergency wise and you don't have the key, there's a little charging thing right here. It allows you to plug in a USB-C um, connector to charge it to, to, to use the uh, fingerprint. Okay, I've taken the batteries out of the lock here. And I just wanted to show you how the emergency power works. You have to get something small to be able to just pry in here to open this up. And that's where the usb power USB-C connector would go. I got myself a power block and I'm just going to connect this in here. A little tricky. Try to show you at the same time. There. It beeps so it's got the blue indicator light here. It says it's on and then I'm going to press my finger to it and there it opens it. And then closes it and then you can also use a phone to open and close when you're powered like this so that there you go it's just an emergency way if the batteries run out you want to make sure you close it so it's all watertight still there you have it all right you might um be wondering well john can i unlock it through alexa because it's just through my Bluetooth on the phone I was showing you guys. But, so I asked this uh, to Geek Technology. I said, how can I connect it to my Wi-Fi so I then can use, you know, Alexa or Google Home or whatever. And they sent me a, a bridge. Yeah, there goes Alexa. Yeah, I shouldn't have said her name. Um... So, they sent me this. It's a, a bridge to connect uh, your lock to the home network. So, I'll put the link in the description below to get this, but I will also do a video on it um, later, my next video, to show the setup of that and show it working. I'm now going to show how to install the Geektail Smart Deadbolt Model number RD02. When installing your lock, the first thing you want to do is to determine the back set of the lock, which is the measurement from the side of the door here to the middle of this hole. And they've provided a template to easily dis, um, figure this out. <clears throat> it comes, basically there's two different uh, possibilities for this back set. And with this template, you can just rip, rip it in half. 
And then uh, by measuring this, you can figure out, uh, by using the template, you can figure out which one your door is. And it's going to be either 70 millimeters or 60 millimeters. Mine is the shorter one. You can see here, just by putting it, you fold it along the edge there of the door and you line it up and that points to the center. I'll put the other one on. The 70 millimeter one is not gonna fit. And there you can see it's obviously not the 70 millimeter. So then you take your, your deadbolt here and that comes with a kit and you wanna then set it at the proper one for your door. Mine is 60 millimeters and here's the 70 one. And <clears throat> so I don't have to move it at all. But I want to show you guys how to do that if you need to. It took me a little bit to learn it. Also here you can see it says up. So when you put this in the door you want this uh, crosshairs here, the X, to be down since the up is pointing that way. So when you put it in you want it to be like that for everything to fit. Okay so to do this you hold on the, the plate here um, with one hand and then you're going to twist like that and then it snaps in and now it's 70 millimeters took me a little bit to figure that out I'm going to move it back because I need it at 60 and there took me a second there we go so you want to put that in like that and then I'm just going to screw those in. Comes with three different screws, and these are the uh, they're called screw A. They have A, B, and C. So these are just go right in the door edge to get that deadbolt in. All right, next step is to put the, the outdoor face plate on. So this, the outdoor face plate, and this is the mounting plate for the inside. So you wanna make sure that this is flush and if it's sticking out, then you can stick a screwdriver in here to turn it but you want to you want to make sure it's like that flush. You don't want it in locked position. So the wire comes through the bottom, and then this right here goes through the middle part. All right. So uh, you can see the two the two screw screws go in there. So now this is the trickiest part. Not that tricky, but this wire comes through the bottom. Be careful with that. The mechanism to turn the lock goes through the middle. And there's even a little thing in there that says up. Has a triangle pointed upwards. Okay. On the mounting plate here, we're going to put the screws through the mounting plate and into the front plate. Just have to make sure that it goes through the mounting plate and then into the hole that's there from the mount, the front exterior plate. So there's one and then another one and you can kind of see through the gaps there where to put it. But once you get that in there, it's going through the deadbolt. It's all going to be lined up. All right. <clears throat> get those nice and snug. It's all metal on metal, so you don't have to worry about like breaking the wood or anything. If there's wood, this is a metal door, but 
hopefully <clears throat> you get what I mean there. All right, I don't need to bend anything, but there you go. So it's all, <clears throat> all stalled, all nice and tight. Okay, now we are gonna put on the interior panel where the cord connects to. And if you have a door facing the same way I do with the left, if the hinges are on the left side, you, you need to have this in this position. If they're on the opposite of this, you want it up. But it says that in the instructions. And that's just because of the way the motor needs to turn. Okay, first thing we need to do is take the connector here and uh, the wire, that is, and, and push the connector. Uh, hopefully you can see this here. And push it, line it up, and then we want to push it down till it snaps. So it's fully connected in there. Then you're going to push this extra wire into the door. And this turning mechanism is going to go into uh, where the knob is. But you want to make sure that's horizontal. So we're going to push that in. Oh, and then all of this needs to be, the rubber on the around the edges needs to be put down flat. It's the trickiest part, but there you go. It goes right in. Yeah. Hope you can see that. And then you get your screw. This is the C screw, as they label it. And the trick I found is to there's this face plate on the front, and you want to push the bottom up against the bottom of the face plate. So the screw holes, these screw holes match up with what you where you're trying to put the screws. So you get that in, slide it in, make sure all the now make sure all of this is rubber around the edge is pushed down against the interior plate. And then you just push it against the door and then up. And then these should align correctly. And I have another one. And then I have to get my... It helps to... There. Alright, now just screw this in. And when it grabs, you know you have it. I can feel it grabbing on the other side. This this one you don't have to do as tight as the metal one, because this is plastic and we just want it snug. We don't want it to break the plastic. So as long as it's snug against the door. You're not holding the lock together, you're just holding this panel on. There you have it. Okay, now I'm putting the batteries on, in. And you just wanna put the, make the polarity correct. So, negative goes to the bouncy things. <laughs> the springs. And it beeps, you know you're good. Put this cover on and you're all ready to set up the lock on the app. What you don't want to do is close the door before you've installed everything because it'll make it harder to open the door, unlock the door. All right, now I can test it out. I've already set it up so you can see it's working. And that's it. That's how you install it. Okay, a quick recap 
of the smart deadbolt from Geek Technologies. I, um, if you're looking for a, a an elegant, um, low, a small footprint for a deadbolt, um, a smart deadbolt that you can get in with your fingerprint easily or use your phone, the app, and of course the key. Um, it's a great, uh, it was easy to install and it, it looks nice. Um, the trade-off being, of course, uh, the other, the smart deadbolt that we have, um, the Geek Technology also makes one with a combo on it. With I, I do like the combo, so I can give out just a, instead of fingerprints, but just give out a combo to someone or have them make their own. Um, I like that, so we haven't fully decided yet, but um, we'll probably keep the combo on the front door and use uh, this other uh, deadbolt um, on a different door. So. Anyways, that's my quick recap. Um, seems like a, a pretty solid uh, option for a smart deadbolt. All right, I wanted to record the contents of the Geek Smart Deadbolt. Fingerprint access and app control. Anyways, what I what's in the box before I install here. Um, we have one smart lock, which is, this is the inside part, and here's the outside part of the smart lock. Let's see, a fingerprint, <clears throat> uh, a screw bag right here with the screws, a latch, um, here is the deadbolt latch two keys, a strike plate right here, and there's a little plastic part that goes, the deadbolt goes into, and an installation guide and interior mounting plate. There's the interior mounting plate. This is a little uh, template for the door, depending on what size you have. Um, it's a little need help card and warranty card and installation guide one installation guide which I've been looking over alright there you have it